Good morning, everyone. My name is Meredith Gregory. Thank you, Hannah, for that introduction. Um, I am a supervising attorney with the Senior Law Project of Legal Aid of North Carolina. I'm here this morning to talk to you about a few very recent changes to the North Carolina laws that govern the notarization and witnessing of legal documents. And this is a brand new change to the law. These new laws went into effect on May 4th of 2020. So literally four days um, before today. So as some background, um, lots of legal documents need to be either notarized or witnessed to be valid and enforceable. Um, some examples of those types of documents are end of life planning documents like wills, powers of attorney, that sort of thing. And the North Carolina laws that deal with notarization and witnessing say that when documents are used to say before this change that when documents are witnessed or notarized, then the person making the document, so the, the principal and the notary and, and witnesses if they're needed, all have to be in what was called close physical proximity to one another. And that was interpreted to mean that they literally had to be, those people literally had to be physically close to one another in the same room together. And as you can imagine, in this time of COVID-19 and social distancing, all those people being close together in one room together was um, very concerning and problematic. So in this most recent legislative session, the North Carolina legislature has just passed some new laws that remove this close physical proximity requirement. Now, by these new laws, legal documents can be notarized and witnessed by video conference technology. So that means things like Zoom, Skype, that sort of thing that lets people see one another and interact with one another by video conferencing. Um, another change to the laws is that for some documents, the witness requirement has actually been completely re removed. So for living wills and healthcare powers of attorney, those documents no longer need two witnesses. Now they do still need to be notarized and a, a will actually still needs two witnesses as well as being notarized but the healthcare power of attorney and living will do not need two witnesses. So it makes those documents a little bit easier to get um, executed in this time of COVID-19. And now managing attorney Angeli Dorsey is gonna talk to you a little bit about what this means for you and some resources that are available for you. Thank you, Meredith. <clears throat> Um, many people put off drafting important documents, um, taking care of end of life planning, um, things that are on their to do list because it's just not pleasant for most people to think about um, their own death. However, the pandemic has pushed this to the forefront and it's, you know, as Meredith explained, it's very risky to have multiple people in close proximity um, to get these documents done. So under this new law, um, there are several documents that can be prepared and executed in a safe manner under this new legislation. Um, first, the healthcare power of attorney is a document that allows the person who's making it to designate another trusted person as their agent who can make and communicate important healthcare decisions for them when they are not able to do so. The other document, um, that's impacted by this legislation is the living will. In North Carolina, that's called the Declaration for a Desire for a Natural Death. And that is a document whereby the person who makes it um, is designating what their end of life wishes are. And these are for end of life situations where the person is very near death. Um, and it sets forth what their wishes are for um, life prolonging measures to be taken or not taken. Um, according to their preference. Um, neither of those documents now require witnesses, um, but they do need to be notarized. And as long as the notary and the principal are in North Carolina, 
and can see each other on some sort of electronic platform like Zoom, um, they're going to be valid. Um, additionally, there are new, these new remote notary and remote video witnesses uh, rules can also apply to things like wills. So while you still need two witnesses and a notary to formalize your will, those witnesses, just like the notary, can participate in your will signing via video meetings now. Now this law is not forever. Uh, most of the provisions are only are until August 1st. Um, the living will and the healthcare power of attorney, um, the, the no witness requirement with that also ends August 4th or whenever the emergency declaration is lifted in North Carolina. Um, you can get more information about this, including forms for the healthcare power of attorney and the living will um, at the North Carolina um, Secretary of State's website at sosnc.gov. If you're a low income person, you can get more information or assistance with any of these documents by contacting Legal Aid Senior Helpline at 877-579-7562 or our main Legal Aid Helpline 866-219-5262. And if you're not low income and you need an attorney to help you with this, you can also contact the North Carolina Bar Association Lawyer Referral Service at ncbar.org.